Do you have one of these? It's the DJI DRTK2 mobile station and is used to unlock the power of RTK positioning in drones like this for more accurate and safer flying. If you're looking to get into more industrial applications of drone works like mapping, surveys and modeling, you'll need to ensure your drone is gathering accurate data and one of the ways that drones do this is by using an RTK base station. And it's not just the enterprise drones that get this ability. The Inspire 3 also has built-in RTK compatibility which unlocks modes like 3D Dolly allowing for repeatable flights and camera movements with precision accuracy. But mobile base stations like these currently cost around $2,000. And that's not including the tripod that you need to get. And don't forget the W37 batteries to power it. It's an expensive piece of equipment, but also necessary for most industrial applications. But did you know that you didn't actually need one of these to unlock the power of RTK services and instead connect to a freely available RTK service and save yourself thousands of dollars. And this is done by using what is called an N-Trip service. But first, a little background. So RTK stands for Real-Time Kinematics and its purpose is simple to correct any errors that may be received from the satellites or GPS that your drone is connected to and give your drone a more accurate position. For example, the internal GPS data is telling the drone that it's here when it's actually here. And this can also result in a more stable flight in windy conditions or the safer flying when closer to structures. And this is done through the Global Navigation Satellite System or GNSS and corrects the positioning data in real time through the drone's connection to one of these services. Now this can be done via a traditional mobile base station like this one, but they're not without some limitations. Firstly, they can take up to 15 minutes after it's turned on to fully sync its position. You're limited to how far away you can fly from that base station, not to mention the thousands of dollars it costs. Or you can connect to the same RTK positional data using a system called Entrip for free. So what is Entrip? Well, it stands for Networked Transport of RTCM via Internet protocol. A bit of a mouthful, but all you really need to know is that basically it just sends this RTK correctional data to your drone over the internet. And because of this, you don't need to worry about how far away you're flying from the base station and no need to carry the equipment of a base station with you and wait for that setup time that can last up to 15 minutes. And you're also not limited to the number of drones that can be connected to that end trip at any one time. And best of all, it's free. You just set it up and once connected, you're good to go. So let's talk about finding a service. So there are a couple of ways to access this service. Firstly, through a cause network, which stands for continuously operating reference stations. And this is usually government affiliated. Um, you can also go through a publicly available free service like RTK to go or even paid services like Point one nav. Just up to you depending on what's accessible in your area and what your budget is. But regardless of the ones you go through, you will need to register and sign up for an account which will be either free to do so or as a subscription service for one of the paid options. Now, once you're registered to your account, just make sure to save your email and password as you will need that for later. As an example for an Australian cause network, head to the website gnss.ga.gov.au. Then click on streaming and register an account. So for yourself in a different country, just give your country a Google with GNSS in the search title and you should be able to find your local free cause network. So with that in mind, let's talk about connecting to the Entrip system on your drone. First thing is you need to find a network mount point that you want to connect to. And it's best to select one that is closest to your position that you'll be flying as it will most likely be operating off the same satellites as your drone. The best way to find this is by using a map from your GNS provider. 
So for example, here in Australia, I can see a couple close to me and I'll be using this one here. Now you want to be within at least 15 kilometers or about 10 miles to your mount point to ensure the reliability of your connection and accuracy of the data. In your enterprise drone settings, head to the satellite icon and then ensure the RTK positioning and maintaining accuracy positioning mode are both turned on. Then in the RTK service type, if you've used a mobile base station previously, you will need to switch this to custom RTK network. Now you will then be prompted to restart the aircraft, so do that and come back to this menu. Now to the important part, which is putting in the details to connect to the NTRIP system. Firstly, the configuration drop down menu is essentially a way to quickly switch between different saved mount point configurations. So for instance, if you have an ongoing project in different areas in your region that you have specific mount points you want to connect to, you can save all of these and switch to them when you are operating in that area instead of needing to re-input these each time you change location into the first configuration. Now below that, click edit to start entering in your details. Now I'll be using our local cause network as an example, but depending on your provider, you should be able to quite easily find these details located after you select the mount point. Now first is the entry address, so you'll need to manually enter that here. Then after that is the port, and this is usually 2101 for all ports regardless of your location. Next is to enter the account email address and password that you provided when you registered your account. And then finally, enter the mount point that you want to connect to. Now important to note that this is case sensitive, so ensure your letters are all capitalized. Then simply save this and wait five to 10 seconds for the connection to lock and Home boom, point you now have a more stable and accurate flight profile. Now you can also quickly toggle between RTK and GPS flight modes here on the main interface. And there you go, you now have access to more accurate and stable flights through the power of NTRIP. Now if you look underneath the NTRIP settings, you can see the status showing what the drone's position is as well as the correctional data the drone is receiving. Now in terms of data accuracy, if you're looking to use this purely for a more stable flight or using any of the automated features that require an RTK connection like slope or geometric mapping on the Mavic 3 Enterprise, any NTRIP service should do. However, if you're mapping or doing any survey work and will be handing this data over to the client, we recommend using a cause network or a paid service to ensure the accuracy of your data. Or also using ground control points in your data to correct any issues that may come up if using any of the free publicly available NTRIP services, just in case the data isn't always 100% accurate. Lastly, the mount points are more often than not found in more populated areas, and the further regional you go from a CBD area, the less you will find. In which case, your best option is of course, the mobile base station. But the good news is, is if you're mostly operating in urban areas, there should be a mount point close by. Okay guys, if you learned something new, please give this video a like. It helps other drone professionals and enthusiasts like yourself discover our channel and skill up. That's it from me. See you guys in the next one.